so speak ye and so do as they that shall be judged by the law of liberty. Great uh, minister was preaching about how great God was and how omniscient and omnipresent and God is everything. And then he said, and the Lord thy God is a jealous God. And I was, you know, caught up in the rapture of that moment until he said jealous. And something struck me. Just, and I was like, uh, I think about 27 or 28. I was thinking, God is all, God is omnipresent, God is all. And God's also jealous. Jealous, God is jealous of me. Um, and something about that didn't, didn't feel right in my spirit. Because people today, they're not jealous for God. They don't like God. Hey, what about Oprah Winfrey? She says she was like 20 years old. She quit going to church because this preacher said that, that God was jealous. And she doesn't like the kind of God that would be jealous over somebody. What kind of God is that? I don't want that God. Right. Oprah Winfrey also denied that Jesus was the only way. Just blaspheming the Lord Jesus Christ. Oprah Winfrey, I mean, she is a witch of Hollywood. She is a witch. She's satanic. For thou shalt worship no other God. For the Lord whose name is Jealous is a jealous God. God's name is Jealous. He's jealous over you. God created you. He doesn't want you worshiping another God. He doesn't want you ignoring His word. He doesn't want you saying there's another way to heaven without Jesus. That's wicked. One of the mistakes that human beings make is believing that there is only one way to live That's and right. that we don't accept that there are diverse ways of being in the world, that there are millions of ways to be a then human how do being you please God? And, and many ways, no, but many paths many to what you call God. That and is her path crazy. might be something else and when she gets there she might call it the light. But her loving and her kindness and her generosity brings her, if it brings her to the same point that it brings you, it doesn't matter whether she called it God along the way or not. And I guess the danger that could be on that, I mean, it, it sounds great on the onset, but if you really look at both sides, I there could possibly be just one way. What, what about Jesus? What about Jesus? There is one way and only one way, and there that is through be. Jesus. There couldn't possibly be with because a million you of people say in the there world. Isn't. There couldn't possibly be. Because you say, you intellectualize it and say there isn't. If no. you don't believe that, you're all buying into the lie. But that makes you right. Do you think, do you think that if you, if you are somewhere on the planet, where are you so, if you're somewhere on the planet and you never hear the name of Jesus, you never hear the name of Jesus, but yet you live with a loving heart, you lived as Jesus would have had you to live, you lived for the same purpose that Jesus came to the planet to teach us all, but you are in some remote part of the earth and you never heard the name of Jesus. You cannot get to heaven, you think? And that is covered in the scriptures, too. People are talked about that. Truly. God knows the heart. Does God care about your heart or does God care about if you call his son Jesus? God is jealous for you, for your heart, for your mind, for your attention, for the things that you spend your time doing. And God wants us also to be jealous for him. And when somebody says something bad about God, we need to be angry with them. What are you talking about? Don't you talk about my God like that. Who are you to blaspheme the Lord Jesus Christ? You need to repent of that. We ought to be jealous for God as God is jealous for us. So speak ye and so do as they that shall be judged by the law of liberty.